Hey there, artist Steve Harpster. Today, we're gonna to take one of these random objects and we're gonna turn it into a Cuphead boss. And I think the one we're gonna go with today, I think we're gonna turn, let's turn the pencil into a Cuphead boss. But first, we need to spin the Wheel of Crazy, the Wheel of Crazy, and then we can figure out what we're going to turn this pencil in using random, random suggestions. Let's do it right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spin first for the costume or the theme of our character. So let's go ahead and spin for the costume or the theme of this character. And we have a, an artist. So pretty cool. So we have pencil. I need to write this down because I will forget. We have a pencil that is an artist. Now we're gonna spin for the second form. So as the Cuphead characters battle, they tend to uh, morph into something even more powerful. So let's see what we're gonna add. What other features are we gonna add to this character? And we have extra arms. Okay, so let's add. And then lastly, what is this character going to fire? What is the weapon? What is it they, they throw? What is the projectile they use to defeat Cuphead in this game? And we're spinning for this inner little circle right here. So let's do that right now. And we have fish or sea life, okay. <laughs> so we have an artist pencil with extra arms that throws fish. Well, there you have it, folks. Now let's work on transforming our character. I'm going to use my superpower, and that is my imagination. Okay, so I'm gonna drop the opacity on this. I'm also gonna make it a little bit bigger. Let's make this pencil a bit bigger here. Okay, so I've gotta figure out some things here, like where is the face? going to go on this character. So let me do that right now. Okay, so here's a good start for the face. Uh, it's not bad. I think we need to make it a little bit angrier with the eyebrows here. Let's see if I can make some angrier eyebrows. I think I'm gonna do the eyelids kind of like that. And uh, now let's add the legs and those extra arms. Okay, that's pretty cool like that. Uh, I think we could do a little bit more with the pose to make it a little more menacing and evil looking, uh, doesn't look super evil or scary right now. So, and let's get it in that Cuphead style. I like the eyes, not sure about the boots and the feet, but uh, the rest of it's pretty good. I like the smile or the, the lack thereof smile. Now we gotta draw this in a more of an action pose and throwing fish or something to do with sea life and fish. Let's do that now. I don't know, who should I call this Dr. Pencil? Leadhead, leadhead, and he's got the fish, and I, I lost the legs. I said, eh, the legs, I think it looks more like a pencil without the legs, and it bounces around on the eraser. I thought that's pretty cool. It clubs or beats Cuphead with these fish, and it's time to ink this character in, throw in a little color, and call it a day. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Check out those eyes. Those are pretty good eyes. They look pretty, pretty evil and they've got that pie eye style, which is Cuphead, where they have the little, like that little slice, where am I going, <laughs> the little slice taken out over there, like Pac-Man eyes. So those are the kind of eyes you want for your villain. Here's our fish, one of the fish that uh, Leadhead throws at Cuphead or beats Cuphead with, looking cool like that. So whenever you're inking, just take your time. Inking is also a whole nother art. So a lot of people think you're just tracing, but you're really not. You're redrawing your character. Ooh, look how creepy that face is. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I can't wait for you to see this. So let's go ahead and have the reveal. Check this out. Nice, how awesome is that? There's our finished character, and it looks pretty cool. Now it's time to color this character in. I'm gonna do it pretty fast. It's gonna be a real quick coloring job, but uh, you'll be able to see the results here in just a little bit. I'm just gonna throw in some color real quickly. This is uh, going to be a super nice coloring job, just a quickie, quickie coloring job. Getting uh, getting hot here. I gotta turn, take off my sweatshirt. 
sometimes being a cartoonist is a is a sweaty job, right? One of the cool things about being a cartoonist is like you never know what you're gonna work on. Like today, I did not see myself coloring in a dead fish, so that's something I can tell people that you know, hey, what'd you do today? I colored in a dead fish. Okay, just so we can remember what we started off with, we start off with a character like this, and then it became a character like this, and now our final finished character looks something like this. There we go, we've got our finished Cuphead character. Yeah, I think it looks good. I think this could be a Cuphead boss for sure. So hey, creators of Cuphead, if you're interested, contact me. I think we've got a, a really cool boss character for your next game. I just wanna let you know my dream was always to grow up to become a cartoonist. Do you love to draw cartoons? Is that something you're into? Well, you can learn about all my tips, tricks, and lots of various art lessons on becoming a cartoonist at Harptuniac's membership art site. Yes, Harptuniac is my membership art site where you can go and for a monthly fee, you can become a cartoonist just like me. Now, guess what? Head over there now. You can try it for a week for free. See what you think. And if you enjoy, it's just one low monthly fee and you get lessons every week. Brand new lessons and so much more. Well, hey, artists, I had a blast drawing, creating, and imagining with you. And I can't wait to draw with you in another video real soon. Remember, like if you enjoyed this video and hit like if you didn't like this video and always subscribe. I've got lots more videos. Uh, that I'm going to create where I show you how to draw different characters. And if you want to learn how to become a cartoonist like me, check out Harptuniac's membership art lessons. Okay, well, I'll see you in the next video real soon.